Pingalis were among the first to build completely artificial reservoirs to store water. According to Sri Lankan history, the first tank was built by King Pandukabaya, who reigned from 437 to 367 BC. Main purpose of the ancient irrigation work was providing water for agricultural activities. But in the near past, huge reservoirs have been built for party purposes such as producing electricity, controlling flood, fishery and etc. Among these reservoirs, Victoria Reservoir can be identified as the Queen of Reservoirs in Sri Lanka. Victoria Dam is the tallest dam in Sri Lanka. It is a double arc dam located in 209 kilometers upstream of the Mahavali River's mouth and 6 kilometers from Tanzania. Victoria project was started on 23rd March 1980 under the guidance of the late president Mr. J. R. Jayavardhana and Mr. Gamini Disanayaka, late Minister of Irrigation, with the monetary, technical and labour support of United Kingdom. The catchment area of the reservoir is 1,891 square kilometres. There were five major goals for this project. <laughs> The constructions of the project were completed on April 1984 and it was opened in 1985 with the participation of Margaret Thatcher, the former Prime Minister of United Kingdom, and Mr. J. R. Jayavardhana, the former President of Sri Lanka. It was a polgoling in a water, Victoria and Author, Polgol, Purimata, Victoria, the Polgol, the Copper, Victoria, Jalamata. It was a Gandhanical Victoria, the Jalay, the Badakar, within his part, the Nicaragua, Idid than after one the Nicola Jalassi. Tandanical Jalay of Badakar, within his part, the Nicola, I think Idid than after one Tambi Jalassi. Tantamil Jalay of Badakar, within his part, the Idid than after one mini ping Haravane, Logal Loikin and Jalassi. Logal Lojalassi, the Mishishi Tarapati at the Gaginian, Uliki Rakin the Jalassi. Maximum height of the dam is 122 meters and maximum length and width are 520 meters and 25 meters respectively. Horizontal and vertical concrete double arcs are used in this dam. No iron wires have been used for the construction of dam unless for the internal hallways. Interesting facts about this concrete are that ice water has been used to mix this concrete and cable cars have been used to transport mixed concrete inside the site. And these cable cars are still preserved at the museum of the dam. There are eight mechanical spillway gates in the dam. Each gate is about 4 meters high and 3 meters wide. The maximum flow to all gates is 760 cubic meters of water per second.
Apart from the spillway gate, there are two mud sluices situated at the bottom of the dam. As the middle of the dam is empty, hallways are constructed in the dam so that one can easily go through the dam. There are eight stories inside the dam which are connected to each other. These are the operating system of the mud sluices. महावे <laughs> प्रधान the dam is constructed in a way that when the water level of the reservoir is increased, the dam tends to move slightly. It is used to protect the dam by controlling the pressure on it. To measure the movement of the dam along its and y axis, a pendulum is used. Victoria Dam is a great construction which provides evidence about skills, knowledge and technology of human beings. Because of the foresightness of late leaders, the nation experiences a great service throughout generations. <laughs>